So the backup pickup was built from a brand new uh, 1965 Ford E100 or Econoline truck. They built a frame and they set the unibody truck on it, but when they did that, they sort of turned everything around. They made the truck actually go backwards as well as doing a wheel. This was blowing people's mind in 1965. It was just nuts. They were looking for a driver and they said somebody had to be crazy to drive that car. And they said, well, George is crazy. Let him drive it. So I started, I tried it. Once you drive one and you make it from one end to the other without getting killed, you go, oh, I love this one. Well, it was a 427 cubic inch, and I, I would say it was at least 475 horsepower out of it. And back then, that uh, was a pretty good sized motor. I mean, it was a very violent, uh, quick ride. You get about four seconds to learn how to drive the car, because uh, if you don't get it up and drive it properly and get it down and start steering it, four seconds, you've got a guardrail. So it was crazy. Everybody was crazy. You know, we all were. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. Yeah, this was before the internet, it was before cell phones, it was a lot of it before any good TV. You know, this is what people did. They went places and did things, they built stuff, they raced it. They didn't live virtually, they, they lived. Well there, it'll never run like this again. It's pretty cool to bring this back and throw it back out there and and have people seeing it with the Galpin name on it and everything again. That's a really rewarding aspect of it as well, is to help preserve the Galpin history and get, you know, Bert and Jane and Brad and Bo and, and Brett and everybody excited about something that used to run around here 50 years ago. You know, that's another big part of it because it's very important to the Bachmans. You know, their, their heritage is huge. And, and some of this gets lost over time, so it's pretty cool. Hot towel? This is where it all came from and this is why we do the things we do today and and that's the biggest part for me is just saying that I can be there to help keep all this history around for other people to enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs>